Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. During this video I'll be showing you how to make your own explodable objects in Unity or uh, I don't know how you may want to call them, just breakable objects that get li literally broken down into pieces. So let's see how that may look at the end. So I have this cube here in my scene and if I were to summon an explosion on it you can see that it shatters into small pieces uh, that are basically individual objects of this cube uh, and they are independent at this point from the original cube so I'll show you how you can make this uh, into your own game so first of all you need to actually create the objects and the meshes into uh, Blender or something that is related to Blender maybe you can use 3ds Max I'm going to be using Blender in this example because it's free and easy to use so if you don't know what Blender is have a Google audit and you can download that for free. So what we have here, is, as you can see, is the original cube uh, that I created in Blender. And I'll be showing you how you can recreate this. So first of all, you need to add an object by going Shift A to open this and then cl click Cube. I'll just drag this on the right hand side. And what I usually do when I'm creating objects in Blender, in my case, I'm using a cube. I will usually use the bevel. And this doesn't actually uh, add anything to this tutorial. It just makes uh, the object look a bit better. So I thought I might share that with you as well. And the next thing that you want to do is go to Edit, then go to Preferences, and then go to Add-ons. And in the Add-ons, you need to install the Cell Fracture Add-on, which will allow us to fracture essentially our object. So once you do that, press F3 and add the cell fracture. So you need to sell, search for cell fracture and click on that. And this will open up different properties that you can basically customize how you want this object to be kind of fractured. And the main things are the basically two uh, boxes above, which allow you to customize as you like uh, the object and how much should it shatter, how big or small should those uh, pieces be so you can play around with this and find a solution that works for you but keep in mind that the more object you create from this will have basically be uh, hanging around in your system in your game which will make your game work slower so if you for example create a thousand pieces per uh, box for example as in my case it will cost a lot when rendering those boxes so anyway once you play, I played around with this and thought, okay, this seems okay. Click okay, and this is what you get. So it creates the object uh, and fractures it. So this is what we get. And then you need to export it. And something that I forgot to mention is that you also need to export the original cube. And I'll be showing you why. So you need basically two models. And the way to export them is by going uh, onto File. And then clicking export and exporting it as an fbx file and okay so what you will need to do is first export this as any uh, different kind of model and we're going to be using it uh, originally as our original cube and then when we want to shatter it we're going to be deactivating this and activating the broken one so again i will just redo it so it will i will break it again and export this one but before you do make sure to delete the original cube from the heresy which is going to be the let's say cube on the right hand side here just delete that and export it again as a broken cube and now back to unity you need to import both of these so just drag and drop them into your project and we are going to first of all creating an empty object and this will be like parent cube and we'll have nothing and beneath it, I'm going to have the um, original cube, which is basically solid. It doesn't have any shutters on it. And then the broken cube as deactivated. And here it is with all the tiny cubes uh, that we have. And for each of these cubes uh, or pieces, you, you need to include a rigid body and a mesh collider to make it look realistic and work with physics. And you should also do that with the original cube. And for the original cube, I have this exploding box script or basically a simple script that has the broken cube uh, as a variable. And when we want to basically 
create those pieces, those shadowed pieces. You just need to call this function. It will deactivate. It will activate first the broken cube and deactivate um, the object, so the solid cube. And just to show you the final result of how this may look like, we have again the original cube uh, that is one piece. And then when I explode it, you'll see that uh, it gets shattered to pieces. The original cube gets deactivated, and we have all of these pieces hanging around into our game and it looks like uh, they were broken. So this is how you can create your own uh, explodable objects in Unity and using Blender as well. So hopefully you found this video useful and it helped you out with your game. If you did, make sure to like and subscribe onto the channel. Um, thank you for watching. Have a good rest of your day and goodbye.